Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be testing out popular room DIYs and I really hope that you enjoy it. This video is sponsored by Disney to help promote a new show they have coming out on the Disney Channel in the UK. If you're in the US, you may have already seen it and it's called Andy Mac. The show follows around Andy in her day-to-day -day life and let me tell you, her life is crazy. At the end of the first episode, we learn a huge secret about Andy and Andy didn't even know it either so we get to see her reaction and it's just crazy. And in the next few episodes, the secret's kind of coming out but not really and then it does and everyone's like what but it's literally the craziest thing and it's so interesting what I really loved is that the show just jumped into the secret instead of making you wait and it really drew me in and made me love the show even more when I was watching the show I also fell in love with Andy's room and she has so many DIY items made out of recycled things like her bedside lamp which I'm actually gonna be recreating in this video and it's a hollow thing for all of you people who love hollow so I really hope that you enjoy it but it's just so inspiring and it's one of those things that you watch it and and then instantly you want to go and do crafts. Andy is one of my favourite characters I've ever seen on any TV show just because she's so different and instead of shying away from that she really owns it. You'll see what I mean if you watch the show because her style is the coolest thing and it's really really out there. I love that the show's made the main character and also the coolest character in the show so different because it really inspires you to be yourself. Another thing I'm hoping for is Andy has a crush on this boy called Jonah and they're both in fifth grade but Jonah has a girlfriend in high school so she's really cool, really popular and Andy makes him a bracelet and then I don't know if I should be telling you this but the bracelet is being worn by the really popular girl in the third episode so he gave it to her or at least we think so so we have to watch out how it plays out but I think by being herself Andy's gonna get the guy and the popular girl can go away and give her back a bracelet even if it doesn't end up that way I don't really mind because I'm absolutely in love with Andy's friends too they are the coolest people and I relate to them so much in an episode that's yet to come they're playing PE and they don't want to exercise so they're playing stuck in the mud where you have to tag someone and when you tag them they freeze and they were pretending to be frozen because they didn't want to run around and I was just like if that is not me I honestly can't wait to watch the rest of the series and I think that you guys are really gonna enjoy it too the next episode airs this Friday at 5 p.m. on the Disney Channel in the UK so don't forget to watch that and if you didn't have the chance to watch the first episode I'll leave some catch-up ways you can watch it in the description I really hope that you enjoy it and if you do don't forget to leave me a comment with what you think of the show because I'd really love to have a discussion with you guys about it if you recreate any of Andy's crafts please Please feel free to tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see your creation. The first DIY I'm going to test out is DIY marble nail polishing. For this method we're going to need three things and the first one is a flower pot, the second one is some nail polishes you don't mind pouring away and also a bowl of water. I started off by pouring the nail polishes into the bowl in just a random order and I always see people swirl around the nail polishes so I decided to do this to create a cool design and then I lowered my pot in very very slowly and it came out so well. I left it to dry naturally so I didn't mess up the design and it took 20 minutes so I decided to do another pot in the meantime. For this pot I decided to try out a different technique just to see if it would work and I wanted to create a really detailed base so instead of swirling it all up I only swirled up the middle. Then I lowered my pot in really really slowly and luckily it came out with such a clean design where the bottom was really detailed. The next DIY was inspired by Andy Mack and I absolutely fell in love with her bedside lamp with all the CDs on it so I decided to recreate it with some recycled items. The first thing I used is an old lampshade and I also used some see-through fabric and some fairy lights. The first thing we're going to do is lay the fabric out and make sure it's really smooth and once that's done you can start folding the fabric over and if there's any bits that doesn't look like it will kind of fold over again you can go ahead and tuck this in the middle. Then we can pop in our fairy lights if you want to use them and then fold over the fabric again and once that's done I just tied it with a hair bobble and then tuck that bit under so it was really clean. Then I just went around and adjusted it just to make sure there weren't any kinks and then I went in with my CDs which is my favourite part it looks so cool and I just got my tacky tape and stuff it back to back so it was like double sided tape and then I started to stick my CDs onto the fabric and this looked so cool it was just like a hollow thing really but it was much cheaper and really easy to achieve. I have a feeling you guys are really gonna like this lamp so if you do and you recreate it please don't forget to send me a photo because I'd love to see your creation. Also if you're using fairy lights don't forget to check that they're okay to be covered because some of them have a fire hazard so don't use those ones. Last but not least we have glitter galaxy gels and I started off by 
I'm using some food coloring in water and I tried to make it pink, blue and purple, but it actually turned into red, purple and blue. So it was just a lot of purple, which doesn't really matter because we were making a galaxy one. So I started off by pouring in my purple and then I put in some hollow glitter stars and also some cotton balls, some more glitter. And then I just shook it all up and it turned out so pretty and it was so easy to make. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. See you next week.